Hello everybody, Epic Me to here. Today we are back with another figure unboxing video, finally. And I'm very excited for today's video. Today we're going to be opening up, well, one of these dudes right here. And then we're going to be opening the other one up next week. Two of the ultimate soldiers from Dragon Ball Super Broly. Very cool. This set is actually a very cool set um, that has come out as of recent, of course, from the movie. Let me cut this boy open here. And there are um, four characters in this set, that being Base Form Broly, these two guys, and then Gogeta. I am getting all of them, um, despite ordering Broly first. Uh, these guys came first before he did, so I'm assuming I'll get Broly soon. Um, I did not get them from the same place this time. Um, this time I got these two from um, Tokyo Taku Mode, where I usually get them. We'll open this Vegeta next week. And uh, I don't actually remember what I got, really. <laughs> but we're going to be opening up Goku first, uh, very appropriately, I think. So this is a very cool line, um, because one thing I like about it is it's very smooth, and it, I feel like it represents the Broly movie very well. So as I said, the line is Dragon Ball Super uh, Broly Ultimate Soldiers. This is number two in the set. So if we look here, there is this very cool art here. Obviously, um, Gogeta is four, Vegeta is three, Goku is two, and Broly is one. Interesting that they use this art because he's not um, powered up, as you can see here. Well, actually, here let me turn it for you. He's base form on the uh, like in the figure, which I actually kind of like that they did that on the back of the box. It's pretty cool. Um, bottom is just your generic information. The top has the figure with the Toei Animation sticker, of course, showing that this is legit. Did we miss a side? Oh, okay, the other side is just, um, Goku, and it's not gonna focus on me, is it? It's just Goku with the, uh, the logo. So let's open this boy up. Um, again, I really like, um, this line of figures. I've been very excited to get it, simply because it's just so, like, it, it, I feel like it represents the Broly movie very well. Alright, so let's get into it here. Let's cut this bad boy open. Um, I really like, actually, um, I'm very excited to get the base form Broly in this set. Because there aren't that many base form Broly figures. And the one in this set is absolutely fantastic. They did a very good job with him. There are, of course, you know, a lot of, like, full power Broly since he's, you know, like, the... The biggest and strongest form of Broly, but it's also nice when they make some other forms of the characters. And it is uh, cool, actually, for the next uh, Ichiban Kuji that's coming up soon. They are making a regular Super Saiyan Broly figure, so that is going to be very cool. I'm going to be getting that one as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. Pull the cardboard out as per usual. Throw the box to the side. Alright, ooh, that head structure is very interesting. It's reminding me a lot of the- Oh, I forgot about how cool the base is. Okay, you guys are gonna love this. So, the base on these figures, they're huge, but they're some of the coolest bases I've ever seen. By the way, the stand was just in there. I already took it out. But the base is, like, themed to Dragon Ball Super Broly. And when I saw that, oh, your boy was very excited. Okay. So let's take a look at it here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that is sick. So obviously you have Goku over here. You have Gogeta in the middle. It says Dragon Ball Super Broly. You have Vegeta over here and Broly up here mimicking the art on the side of the box. Um, it is raised on the back, which is really cool. So what that means basically is that like on this part, it's flat. So if you touch it, you can't really feel it. But on the back, that's where it's raised up, so it sort of gives that effect on the front. This is the, I think this is the coolest base I've ever seen. So cool. That is also another thing I really like about this set. They did a fantastic job with the base. Okay. Moving on from that, though, we have, wow, okay, so Goku's already put together and we just have his head. So let's, I guess, just pop him out of the bag here. You gotta be very careful because now my, here, I'm gonna do this off camera. Now my, uh... My table space is a little bit smaller, so I can't, like, you know, force out the bag and then let something fling out. Okay, so there's Goku's head. Let's get his body out. Yeah! Alright. Let's see, too. Is the body 
Um, actually, two parts? No, it does not look like it. It looks like it's all one. Okay, so this is very interesting. So they did this sort of thing with the, um, the Dragon Ball Heroes, um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku figure. Where, um, they basically made his, like, chest also part of the head. Which is really weird because then, you know, it's like just the part that sticks out, so let's just put it in there. Actually, how does this go in? This is very weird. There's like a little hole there. I don't even know if you can see it on the camera. I don't know. This is a very weird fit. Okay. Alright, well, I'm assuming we just pop it in there like that? Oh, actually, you know what? That doesn't look that bad. To be honest, that looks pretty good. Okay, I thought it wouldn't look that good with um, with how that is set, because like I was thinking I couldn't set it right. That actually looks pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. So, oh, interesting. So that hole for the skin tone is actually this part, because that was black before. That's really cool. Okay, so obviously um, the figure is like a pretty basic you know, Goku sort of thing, like, that's the reason why I don't get Super Saiyan Blue figures a lot, is simply because they make so many of them, that it's almost, you know, like, pointless to get all of them, because it's just the same thing over and over and over, but I figured for the Broly movie we had to do it, and again, like I said, and I'll kind of go in more detail, like what I was talking about, oh, that stand is hard to get in there, bro, see, look at that, it's just chilling in there, let's see if we can push that in. Oh boy. Here, let me do this off camera. Because it takes, it looks like it goes in really far. But, actually, you know what? Here, let me take this off the base. So I don't break the base. Ugh! Some of the fig, I don't know. Sometimes stands are like really easy to put on. And other times you're like, nah, let's just make it. You need the strength of the Hulk to get that boy in there. Alright. So as you can see from before, you saw how much space there was. Now look how deep that is. <laughs> they uh, they want you to go very deep for that. Okay, so let's put that back on there. Bada bing, bada boom. So, like I was saying, this Goku figure, I really like it because it's very simple. They did a very good job, I feel like, capturing the sort of um, simple nature of the animation of the Broly movie, like, there's not too much detail on the hair, but there's just enough that, you know, you're like, wow, this actually looks really nice, right? And the, you know, there's detail on the shirt, but it's very simple, right? Like, you can see the creases and all that, but the detail is, you know, it's there, but it's very simplistic. His muscle definition is, you know, there, which is nice. There is the rips and stuff in the shirt, which does still look very good, too. But again, the sort of like, I don't know how to describe it, but like the, the matte finish on the figure makes it look very simple. Also, there's the, uh, I think that's where the copyright information is. But yeah, so just like the way that they decided to paint it and model it, I feel like they did a very good job capturing the sort of like animation style of the Broly movie with this figure. Even like the eyes are more similar to how they, um, you know, like did the eyes in the Broly movie as opposed to, you know, like... Dragon Ball Super of Past. By the way, looks absolutely fantastic with the stand chilling down there. We are going to take a look at this guy compared to some other figures now. Alright, so here he is next to the Namco Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. He is actually quite big compared to Gogeta. Um, they do scale pretty well. He's a little bit smaller than Gogeta, um, but he is a little bit higher up than Gogeta as well, but the body is a little bit smaller. And then here he is with the FES uh, MUI Goku. He's obviously a little bit bigger than that Goku, but they're still pretty good looking together. The base is, as you can see, that one's a little bit dusty. This one is huge, that one's pretty big, and then Namco Gogeta is a small boy. But nonetheless, um, this is a pretty tall figure simply because of the stand. With the stand, he is like... A giant, bro. He's pretty big. Like, he is just a tad taller than that Gogeta, and I thought he was pretty tall. Obviously, the uh, the MUI is nothing to scoff at either, considering how high these stands are. But nonetheless, this is an awesome figure. If you're looking for just a simple Super Saiyan Blue Goku figure, this is definitely a figure I recommend. Oh, he's punching Gogeta there. 
And if you just want something, you know, that I feel like does a really good job of, you know, being taken right out of the Broly movie, I definitely recommend this Goku figure for you. Like I said, it's very simple. The way that they do, do the paint and, like, finish off the sculpt makes it look very, you know, like closer to the movie which i like you know this definitely looks more like edgy and you know all the scuff marks and you know like the shading on the pants make this makes this one look a lot more you know like dragon ball super tournament of power arc while this one definitely looks a lot more broly movie and i really like that all right guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it next week we're going to open the vegeta that goes with this so definitely keep an eye out for that until then see you in the next one having you two out peace